Hello viewers, welcome back to another civil unboxing tutorial. In this video, we will learn about the general idea for what will be the minimum size of columns and of beams of any single story or double story residential house. As you might know that for any house or structure, the ultimate loads are mainly taken by beams and columns. So, it is very much essential to provide correct size of beams and columns if you are going to construct your dream house of single story or double story dream house. So in this video we will particularly look into what will be the minimum sizes of columns and beams, how much clear cover should be maintained in columns and beams, what is the minimum diameter of reinforcement steel or main rebar in columns and beams? What will be the minimum diameter of lateral ties in columns? What will be the minimum diameter of stirrups in beams? How much spacing should be provided in between the lateral ties of column? How much spacing should be provided in between the stirrups in beams? And last one is how to place correct reinforcements or steel in beam. So these are the queries we are going to discuss in this video. But before we jump into the key concept, we should know why and what is the main purpose of this aforesaid. So first question arises, what will be the minimum sizes of columns and beams? Beams and columns are two important types of structural elements that play a key role in creating a safe load path to transfer the weight and forces on a structure to the foundations and into the ground. So it is very much necessary to provide a suitable and reliable size of columns and beams for sustaining the heavy loads of house or structure. The next question arises is how much clear cover should be maintained in columns and beams. Clear cover in RCC is the distance between the outer surface of the concrete and the surface of the reinforcement bar. The cover is provided to protect the reinforcing bar from corrosion and fire. Third question arises, what is the minimum diameter of reinforcement steel or main rebar in columns and beams? The reinforcement is needed to provide strength to the concrete in tension and to help the concrete resist cracking. So this strength is only to be achieved by providing correct diameter of steel rebar or reinforcement as per design. Next one is what will be the minimum diameter of lateral ties in columns and stirrups in beams. The main functions of lateral reinforcements or stirrups in RC columns and beams are to prevent longitudinal reinforcement bars from buckling. It resists the shear force and hence contributes avoiding shear failure. Last one is how much spacing should be provided in between the lateral ties of column. Providing lateral ties or stirrups at the proper spacing confines concrete like gripping the concrete enclosed between the lateral ties thereby also reduces the chances of shear failure. Hi, my name is Suman and I make videos on civil engineering practical knowledge. So if you haven't subscribed yet, then consider please subscribe. Now let's jump into the topic. So if you are gonna be construct a house of ground floor only, then you must follow some of the followings. For columns, minimum column size should be 9 inch by 9 inch or 230mm by 230mm. Minimum cover should be 1 inch or 25 mm and minimum diameter of reinforcement steel should be 12 mm with 4 numbers of bars. Minimum diameter of lateral ties should be of 8 mm and the minimum spacing should have to be maintained with 6 inch to 9 inch or 150 mm to 230 mm. As you can clearly see in the picture, the spacing of ties are closely spaced with 6 inch center to center at the top and the bottom of column and at the middle portion of the spacing is increased to 9 inch, right? By the way, you can use 6 inch spacing throughout the column section for, for achieving better strength against column buckling failure. 
Hence, by decreasing the space requires more quantity of steel, which would be a little bit expensive for your construction, but it is also good to save your life and longevity of structure. Now for beams of one story ground floor house, the minimum beam size should be of 9 inch by 12 inch or 230 mm by 300 mm. Minimum clear cover for protection against moisture and fire is to be provided 1 inch or 25 mm to the reinforcement steel. Minimum diameter of main reinforcement steel of 12 mm with 4 numbers of bar for holding and resisting the shear force in the beam. The stirrups of minimum diameter 8 mm are to be provided. Now these stirrups are to be tied with main reinforcements with center to center spacing in between 6 inch to 9 inch or 150 mm to 230 mm. As you can see that the stirrups are placed closely at 6 inch spacing center to center both side of the beam and column junction and the spacing is increased at middle portion of the L by 2 span of the beam. By the way, here also you can use 6 inch spacing throughout the beam section for achieving better strength against beam bending and shear failure. Hence, by decreasing the space require more quantity of steel, which would be a little bit expensive for your house construction, but it is too also good for saving your life and longevity of structure. Now, if you are willing to construct a house uh, with two story that is G plus one residential house, then for the columns, some of the points to be kept in mind that minimum size of column for G plus one house should be nine inch by 12 inch or 230 mm by 300 mm. Concrete cover to be provided of size one inch to one and half inch or 25 mm to 35 mm Main longitudinal reinforcement are at least 6 numbers with diameter of 12 mm which is clearly shown in the picture. Minimum diameter of lateral ties should be 8 mm and the minimum spacing should have to be maintained with 6 inch to 9 inch or 150 mm to 230 mm. As you can clearly see in the picture, the spacing of ties are closely spaced with 6 inch center to center at the top and the bottom of column and at the middle portion of the spacing is increased by 9 inch right by the way you can here also can provide 6 inch spacing throughout the column section to achieve better strength against column buckling failure now for beams of two story or g plus one house the minimum beam size should be 9 inch by 12 inch or 230 mm by 300 mm Minimum clear cover is to be provided 1 inch or 25 mm and minimum diameter of main reinforcement is still of 12 mm with 6 numbers of bars. For holding and resisting shear force in beam, the stirrups of main minimum diameter of 8 mm are to be provided. Now these stirrups are to be tied with main steel bars with center to center spacing of in between 6 inch to 9 inch or 150 mm to 230 mm. As you can see that the stirrups are placed closely at 6 inch or 150 mm spacing center to center both side of the beam and column junction. And the spacing is increased at 9 inch or 230 mm at the middle portion of L by 2 span of the beam. By the way, here also you can use 6 inch spacing throughout the beam section for achieve better strength against beam bending and shear failure as discussed earlier. Alright, here is the structural diagram for G plus 1 building beam reinforcement placement. In this diagram, the bottom horizontal bars are of orange color are having the dimension of 12 mm diameter and the top horizontal bars of green color are also of 12 mm diameter. But here at the two bottom bars are to be cranked with 45 degree angle as the problem of shear crack might be seen at the both side of L by 4 distance adjacent to the column. 
So it is recommended to provide crankbars to counteract the shear force due to the load of structure. So this is how simply we can place beams, columns, stirrups for a single store or double store any residential house which will be economical as well as safe. I hope you got a clear concept today but if you have any questions or suggestions drop them in the comment box. I will definitely try to address all your queries. Thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me here on the civil unboxing channel. And if you feel this video helped you a little bit then hit the like button, share with your close ones and also do subscribe for civil engineering content. Thanks for watching again. See you soon in the next one.